given what happened with my inventory the uh, last time I tried to find a dark oak tree, uh, I don't want to have any inventory problems this time around. So I'm going to need to uh, make a uh, bag uh, to store some additional stuff. In order to get a good sized bag, I'm going to take this leather and string to make bound leather. Which I will throw into a furnace. And after a time, it will become, and this does take time, again, this tanned leather. And what color do I want for this? What do I have in terms of colors? Ah, we've got a nice cactus green here. It actually wouldn't be a bad pick, would it? Sure, I could turn the cactus green into some pipe sealant, but I don't expect that to be that, that useful. It's going to take a little bit of time to get the rest of the tanned leather. And unfortunately, I've got everything else I need. Last time, I, uh, well, I left to the west, but then circled around north and then east. Uh... following basically this very approximate route there. This time around, I'm basically going to go west, turning a little bit southwest, and see if that gives me any better luck. Alright, so there's the rest of the tan leather. And with that, I get what's called a big green backpack, which I can put in the inventory and... Ooh, it's got the same storage capacity as a double chest. That's really useful, actually. But of course, it's uh, approaching nighttime. Uh, I could use another uh, little bit of food before I set off. Should I set off and try to get the sleeping bag just outside in Dusterville, or... Do I want... Yeah, I, I should probably get going. I've got a little bit of time before the sun sets. And the uh, mobs start spawning. And I've got a nice native village. Uh, not too far to the west of Industrville here. Still needs a name. Yeah, it's still a little early uh, for sleep. There we go. It looks like I can sleep on the road, which is good. So, let us now make our way over here, and then proceed off the road towards the west. Actually, let's go a little bit south here. Now, unfortunately, this bog, I don't expect to be a particularly good place to find uh, any sort of uh, dark oak trees. It's all going to be Saturday oak there, I think. Uh, that's spruce. Yeah, we're getting a lot of oak, a lot of spruce, more than a bit of rubber. Uh, we're up in the taiga biome, uh, which... Again, I don't think is particularly conducive to dark oak. But I could be mistaken. There appears to be some sort of building here. And all it's got in our cobwebs. A few specialty devices, but yeah, all cobwebs. So, no real help for me there. Uh, all oak, again. The odd uh, beehive. Uh, I'll probably do something with those uh, later on, but I'm not in any rush to touch those beehives. I kind of prefer not to get stung. Well, let's see. So, I suppose we're about to find out. Well, this is unexpected. 
very unexpected. And there appears to be some sort of walled compound over there, but this is actually piquing my curiosity. Very interesting. A plausible source of glowstone, but not sure it's one I want to take as of yet. Of course, more trees. Good luck figuring out all this uh, terrain here. Hmm. Well, this is an interesting looking uh, native town. This is already walled in, so uh, less of a concern about that sort of thing. Ooh, now what is up with this? Let's go ahead and put that gravel down. Uh, okay, I'm not sure what exactly this is. Okay, let's put that lever back there. Oddly enough, I actually think these repeaters would be nice to have. Yeah, as would this redstone, come to think of it. Though I'm not so sure about the kinesis pipes. Yeah, I think I'll leave the kinesis pipes as they are. And while I do see some stained clay up there, I don't really have a good way to get to it, so... Yeah, let's not take that same clay at the moment. Looks like there's some caves underneath this uh, underneath this town here. Oh, what's up with this guy here? Okay. Kinetic capsules are the one trade he's got, which is... Well, it would help, I suppose, if I knew what those kinetic capsules were. But yeah, this is quite a good-sized town here. Uh, but I th think I should probably uh, get going. I'm not going to find any dark oak wood here. Uh, let's hope I can find a way out. Ah, there's one. Alright, so back out of that native village. Uh, needing some food. And this Highlands biome is, well, it's looking to be almost exclusively oak, so uh, not really helping me there any. Now there's uh, a forest not far in front of us, which is going to be interesting, I think. Spruce and oak, or, or, or birch and oak. Why do I keep saying spruce? Well, this is interesting. What kind of tree is this? Okay, so this is fir. Uh, don't know that I will necessarily have uh, direct use of fir at this point, but uh, it's probably worth uh, at least grabbing so that I'll have it for later use. Yeah, I've got seven saplings out of it. Not bad. All right, let's see if I can get up this hill here. Okay, so I've got some fur. All right. So this is definitely a different type of forest from what I've seen before. Now, whether it's got any uh, spruce in it, or dark oak... Why do I keep thinking spruce? It would help if I knew why I was thinking spruce, but I really don't. More than a bit of fur. A lot of birch, obviously enough. Some oak here and there. Wait a minute, what kind of gold gravel ore? It actually wouldn't be a bad idea to grab this. Gold ore is in uh, kind of... Uh, low supply. So I would be remiss if I didn't grab that gold gravel ore while I was here. So, 
continuing onward through the birch forest. There's something a bit ahead of us. Uh, just as soon as I can see what it is. So it should be right about here. Allegedly. Hmm. Well, whatever it is, I cannot see it from the ground. So uh, it is what it is. But what it is, I still do not know. So let's proceed a bit deeper into the birch forest. Hmm. A nice little structure over here. Is there a way in? There is. Okay. Is there anything in here? Okay. So I'm getting uh, nothing really that's a must grab. And what about this one over here? even less of a must-grab situation. Well, let's at least continue to the Eldritch Capstone. I'm sure that's something I'll have used for later, but uh, not now. And I don't even know if I can mine it. Uh, maybe I should have tried, but nah. If I go to the north a bit, it looks like the uh, foliage changes a little bit. It would help when running across the top of the trees to not fall into gaps of that sort. Well, there's a huge birch tree. A large oak tree. Another large oak tree. Well... No dark oak even yet, which is uh, rather unfortunate. Oh. So we're in a new biome here, marked by this oh, rock mountains. Okay. Now, I don't know if I can necessarily traverse the rock mountains. I'm not even sure I want to try traversing the rock mountains at this time. Although, if I can catch a few Z's in the Rock Mountains at least, uh, it would probably be uh, helpful on this journey. Yeah, I should be able to, I would think. Now, what is this over here? Basalt, eh? Alright. Well, let's grab some of this while well, I'm here, I suppose. It's actually a fairly decent sized vein of this stuff. Yeah, okay, I think that's as much of it as, uh, well, maybe a little more while I wait for uh, night to officially fall. There we go. Just a couple more. Ah, okay, there we go. So there's the end of that vein of basalt. Now that I've got a few Z's, let me go ahead and actually uh, actually use that bag for its intended purpose. Force more trees this way. But it's probably that uh, birch slash fir forest uh, that I walked through earlier, or rather a continuation thereof. So let me see if I can have to make my way around this. Okay, yeah, a lot of fir, uh, a lot of oak, not as much of the birch, so we're definitely not in the same place uh, we were earlier, but uh, neither are we in a place that has a lot of the dark oak that I've been hunting for for s far too long now. Pinelands, eh? Now, what kind of tree is that? That's 
that doesn't look like dark oak, or is it? No, that's great wood. Do I want to grab it? Can I grab it? Okay. Uh, I cannot say that was quite what I was expecting. Hmm. Well, that's a bit disconcerting. I'm not sure what to make of this. Very, very disconcerting indeed. Well, looks like this lumber axe is not so effective on the great wood trees. Good to know, I suppose. I mean, it does help a little bit, but really, it's not a particularly useful tool. So. Yeah, let's get away from that great wood tree before I uh, tilt at windmills trying to cut it down. Now let's circle the thorn bush while I'm at it. And after a little bit of a run over the treetops, I think it would be prudent to descend back down into uh, the forest here. Yeah. Conveniently located lake breaks the fall and allows me to jump out and continue the journey. And which direction am I going? It looks like I'm going to the west at this point. Now, I can't be sure exactly how far uh, Industrial is at this point. Now, I do see another Sakura tree. I couldn't. Uh, get a Sakura tree on my last exploration because uh, I was running out of space in my inventory. Uh, this time around, inventory space is not a problem. So let me go ahead and grab all of this Sakura wood. And I'm probably going to have to cut down a few other uh, nearby trees in order to actually get it all down. There we go. That should get another bit of the Sakura tree down. Yeah, there we go. So let me think. Cut down this tree. And I think I have to cut down this one as well. There we go. That's a lot of progress there. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of saplings. But I've also got a couple of uh, sections remaining. As far as saplings go. Well, that decay wasn't quite what I had hoped for, unfortunately. Let's see. Can I get that sorted out? There we go. Let's see if I can get any of that down. All right. Well, that is a Sakura tree cut down a specific. Yeah. yeah. Flowering cherry Sakura tree. Good to know. So it looks like I should probably be breaking this by hand if I want the saplings. And unfortunately, uh, that sapling's not going to fall because those leaves will probably never decay. But, oh well, 21 saplings is impressive enough, I'd say. A pre-built tra pre train station? Some coal? Actually, I should probably grab all of that, shouldn't I? And while I'm at it, let's put this bag to its intended use once again. Actually, one other thing I should probably do. And that is to grab all of these tracks. I don't want to use my pickaxe for these because, uh, well, they have a nasty habit of... Uh, Digging up the wood underneath. Nothing in that room. But that's fine. So this native village isn't uh, the worst place to go. Uh, 
no dark wood, unfortunately, but uh, well, it is what it is. Well, that's an uh, interesting water feature. Alright, so an apothecary. And, of course, more other types of villagers. Well, this is uh, a different kind of building. As soon as I can find the uh, entrance to it. Wait, this looks like the entrance. And, in fact, it is. Okay. Uh, I'm sure there's a reason it won't let me put the doors up there. Actually, this building's uh, lost a lot of doors, <laughs> hasn't it? Yeah. Okay, so it looks like here's one entrance, and then there's the other over there. But that's fine, I suppose. All right. Uh, let's see. Second floor. Let's see anything good up here. Ooh. Some interesting food options. Uh, nothing too fancy, unfortunately. Certainly nothing nearly as fancy as uh, what I can produce in Industrialville. But uh, useful nonetheless. Uh, that's a little uh, disconcerting. Wait a minute. So what is this? This rhyme? Okay, it's just a book named Rhyme. Uh, I'm not sure I necessarily have a use for it, per se. Alright, some more carrots. And how is it that I've forgotten that I'm actually on the hunt for uh, dark oak wood? Okay, Let's see, water bottle. Yeah, not great stuff in here. Okay, how did that bag get up there? Uh, at any rate, I wonder if I can't do something about the doors. Well, that's a little interesting. I can put the doors there. That's not really where you want the doors, but uh, they do work there. I wonder, do they work here? Well, they appear to. So I think I can take it. Um, and somehow I got six doors left. All right. Uh, so do I want to take the gift of a quartet of wooden doors? Uh, yeah, why not? It's not like I can put them up anywhere. So, so fill up the bag once more. Wow. And the bag is only now getting full. And I really stocked up at that NPC village. Or that native village, rather. <sighs> Looks like we have a little bit of a forest fire over here, which is a bit unfortunate. Uh-oh. What was that? Uh-oh. Well, that is not good. Well, drat. Uh, that was uh, not uh, good at all. And to make matters worse, Nightfall is approaching. And I don't know that I have a particularly good place. Maybe I do. This isn't ideal. Because, uh, well... Yeah, that's definitely not ideal. I mean, it's a cavern. But... If I have to sleep here, I will. Well, another night's sleep in a sleeping bag. Another day's walk in the hunt for dark oak. Is that dark oak or great wood? That is great wood. Once again. I'm still hunting for dark oak. Must resist temptation to enter native village.
All right, temptation resisted. Although I am going around it a bit. Yeah, a lot of spruce now. And disappointingly, still no dark oak. Seriously, how far from Industrialville do I have to go to get any dark oak? Now I'm in the plains. I'm coming up on a uh, copse of trees. Okay, no, it's a single giant oak tree. And then I'm entering the steps. Which is another biome that's not good for trees. And the worst part is, I might actually have to cross these steps if I actually want to find a dark oak tree, because the, the forest that's now behind me, well, it really doesn't have much of anything in the way of uh, dark oak. And rather than uh, try to traipse through there further, I'm going to have to go through this step here. Well, I've traveled quite a bit further uh, from the steps, made my way around quite a long distance, uh, managed to reach a few native villages along the way, but I've finally obtained my elusive quarry, the dark oak tree. And I think I'm even getting some saplings here and there. There we go, and there's a nice few of these, too, now that I look at it. Oh, yeah. Well, that was nice. I'm up to eight saplings now. That one was a little bit stingier on the saplings, unfortunately. How about this one over here? Yeah? Well, that was unexpected but oh well still okay I think how about this one will it give me any good saplings eh, it gives me a few well looks like I've got the dark oak I'm looking for phew and with that the hunt for the dark oak is complete